What's going on everyone? Welcome on into today's video. We are talking trading view and we're talking order execution. So how you can actually place orders and make trades on the trading view platform. So really quick, let's make sure you have what you need in place before you go ahead and do this. So there's really two different ways to go about this. I have a couple different setups or a couple different options myself. In this case, there is the paper trading account that you can be logged into, or you could be logged into an account that's connected to your brokerage platform, okay? There is a couple different brokers that you can connect to TradingView as we speak right now. Let's pull up the list. Here are all of the brokers that you can currently connect to TradingView and make your trades on TradingView while using your brokerage account. So let's say you utilize Interactive Brokers. We have a video how to connect Interactive Brokers to TradingView if you guys wanna check that out on the channel already. You can go ahead and let's say you have an Interactive Brokers account with whatever money you have in there and you can connect it and then make all your trades on TradingView. Now, why is this useful? Well, it's because TradingView's platform may offer more charts, might be more visually appealing, may offer different indicators and you might like this platform versus the trading platform that you have on one of these brokerage platforms. That could be a great reason why you want to make your trades on TradingView. Or if you don't want to do that and you want to use the paper trading platform, connect to paper trading, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm connected here to my paper trading platform and uh, I can make my trades pretty much the exact same way. Okay. I'm going to minimize this panel because that is now done. We're in this either broker or paper trading now what's is highlighted and it has a little green connected symbol. So we're good to go. Minimize that. So I got our chart pulled up right here and let's dive right on in. So on the far right, okay, far right, there will be a couple different columns. At the bottom, there is an order panel and then there's a DOM. I'm gonna go to order panel. This is gonna be kind of like your classic trade panel. If I can you know, zoom or make this a little bit larger, I will. I'm gonna do that right here. It's pretty much right here in the middle of our screen. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is now I am on Tesla stock, right? So I can change the ticker symbol to whatever stock I wanna trade. Let's say I wanna trade a Tesla stock. Here we go. I'm going to be able to enter everything I need to enter right here all in one place. So there is at the top of our screen, we have sell or buy Tesla sell would be into the bid and buy would be into the ask as we speak right now, the market's actually closed. So going through with this, there's a big spread. There's a $60 spread in this case. That won't be the case when the market's open and we have a lot of active, active trades going through. Uh, okay, market buy, you're gonna be buying essentially at the ask one contract or one unit in this case is one share of Tesla. I can change that to however many shares I want to trade that on this unit for under the market buy section. The really cool thing about TradingView is that when I do this, the cool thing is I can have take profits and a stop loss all there at the exact same time. And they're gonna do a really good job showing my leverage, the value, the trade value, the risk reward, all of this stuff, which is very, very useful. Okay. Now I would recommend, or I like to use uh, in, in, in this situation, I like to use either the dollar or the price. And so in doing so, I will pick the price for the take profit and the price for the stop loss right here, but I could do it with a percentage or, you know, a dollar amount, whatever. Let's just say I want to buy Tesla or I'm going to buy at that 920 market order. My take profit might be, let's say like 925 for a trade and my stop loss might be like 918. And in this case, it'll calculate my risk to reward ratios. Essentially, I'm looking for a $5 gain in terms of reward and a $2 risk. So you can have all those orders entered at the same exact time once I buy my share of Tesla. That's what's really, really cool about it. And I like this a lot. Uh, also, of course, there's the limit option. I would recommend this if you're not someone who's needing to get in right away, like super fast, you wanna specify the price that you wanna get in at. So maybe I wanna buy Tesla at $900 and that's my max. I'm not gonna go more than 900 a share on Tesla. And I could change this as I see fit uh, to the price that I would like. Take profit and stop loss again are always there as options and I can adjust that if I would like to. Time and force is weak. I could change this though. So I can have a day, month or GTD. In this case, uh, time and force being day is if this order does not fill by the end of the day, it will be canceled. So if I don't want it to be canceled, I'll go to GTD. And then if I do want it to have an expiration of this week or this month or whatever, or today, I'll set it to what I want it to be. In this case, this trade for me is not going to be valid tomorrow. I want to have it set today. I will do that right there. 
Then of course there is the stop loss. So if I'm already in, I could have a stop loss that I want to enter and I can put that stop loss in and enter the order there as I see fit. And that could be something that is useful to you. There is also a settings feature. So in the top right, if I go to the little gear symbol, the chart settings, and I go to trading, I can have it set to instant order placement. I can have sounds go off when I get in, when I get out, all that different stuff. I can have essentially everything check that I want to check, but sometimes I don't want certain things. Maybe I don't want to see my position on the screen. Maybe I don't want to see the profit and loss currently. I don't want to have the reverse button to essentially reverse my position if I'm in, let's say long to reverse that. I don't want to have my orders popping up if I have orders set. I could take these off or leave them on. I like having pretty much everything on here, so I'll leave it all on. And for me, it will work and, and do just fine. Uh, on top of that, there's also the DOM. So if I go down to here, this is just like your price ladder on like a TD Ameritrade or a Weeble or whatever, which we have some videos on the channel already covering Weeble's price ladder. And the left-hand side is when you're buying and the right-hand side is when you're selling. So you can go long or short depending upon what side you want to get in on. Uh, and essentially, based on Tesla's price action or, or current price, you can set this to be the price that you want. So let's say the Tesla's trading right now at 900 bucks, and I want to set a limit order for down here at like... I don't know, 890 or 889, I can set a limit order and then it will go through essentially what I want to do here uh, on this widget, walking me through the price points and everything. And if I want to do a take profit, a stop loss, all just like that. It could be useful. It might not be to you. I can also utilize the buy market or sell market right down here. And there's even hotkeys shift plus B would be a buy market and a shift plus S would be a sell market right down here for whatever amount of units that I have selected. In this case, maybe I want to buy 10 shares or sell 10 shares. I can go ahead and do that just like that. And then down here is detail, which is time and force given as week, month, day, or GTD, which could be, of course, you know, useful to you if you don't want this order to go through. Um, if it's not today, but in this case, if it's a market, it's going to get filled when the market's open, when I click on buy or when I click on sell. So that's what you need to know when it comes down to it. But it's pretty much this price action or this price letter is very, very similar to, let's say, a Weeble or a TD Ameritrade, and it could help you get in and out very, very fast. So let's say I want to buy Tesla here at like 900 bucks. I'll click on, you know, limit buy right here, set my limit price in. It tells me all this information, put in buy, boom, good to go. And then let's say Tesla starts pushing up. I can scroll up on the price ladder and then I can click on a limit price that I want to sell at. Boom, here I want to go sell and I can take my profits just like that. And it's pretty quick and pretty easy to utilize when it comes down to it. But that is essentially how you'd go about using this platform or using the trading platform on TradingView to enter trades, to get in, to get out when it comes to either paper trading or your brokerage platform. It can be very, very useful. And I highly recommend checking out the connect your broker to trading view. If you want to have your broker connect here and you like the features, like the charts for me, I love the charts here. And so I actually have an interactive brokers account, but I've connected that to trading view so I can make my trades on trading view through my interactive brokers account. I've been using that. I'm not scalping. So in my situation, it's been working just fine for what I need to use it for, but it could be very, very useful to you if you like the TradingView platform and you would rather use this than your broker or whatever you want to do. A link to a free trial of TradingView will be linked down below in the video description box if you're interested. Leave any other questions, comments down below. Check out any videos and playlists that we have on the channel already that can answer a lot of questions. And we'll see you guys in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.